Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel. I'm Angela. Happy Thursday, family. Happy Thursday or whatever day it is where you are. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day today. Guys, I came today with a word that God wanted me to deliver. It is a warning. This word is not for every person. I want to stress that. It's not for every person, but if God has been warning you about this or speaking to you about it, God is calling you to pray. Uh, and he's giving this warning um, through me to deliver once again to whoever this word is for, okay? Not every word is for every person. I always want to stress that, all right? Also, make sure that you're taking any words that I give you or any other servant of God gives you. Make sure that you're taking these words back to God in prayer for more confirmation and revelation on that word. Also, guys, I'm going to continue to encourage it to make sure that you're developing and having your own relationship with God, all right? Yes, what God is stating in this hour is important, but what is more important is that you have your own and develop your own relationship with God yourself, okay? He speaks to you just like he speaks to me. We just have to all turn, tune out the distractions and the noise so that we can hear what God has to say, all right? So make sure that you're taking the time. He desires that. He desires an intimate relationship with you. And I'm going to continue to encourage it because it is important. And it's imperative in this hour that we all have our own intimate relationship with God, all right? But guys, this is a warning. If you see me look down, I'm just looking at my notes. But this is a warning from God. Uh, God is about to bring judgment on the wicked when it comes to witchcraft and casting spells. God is stating that some people, some of you are being watched in the physical realm and also in the spiritual realm. And in the physical realm, this may be, you know, friends, this may be uh, enemies, this may be, you know, just people who you think are your friends is what I wanted to say. People who you think are your friends, your enemies, that people that dislike you, people that are envious or jealous of you. God is stating these people are watching you physically, but some are also going to people that dibble or dabble into, uh, you know, that tap into into the, the the kingdom of darkness through ma black magic through you know spells and different things of that nature and to find out you know your next steps to find out your plans to 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 tap into uh and try to see what god has planned for you next uh the enemy is really 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 using people right now and we know that we fit, we fight a spiritual battle every day. But God was stating, this is happening. You are being watched in the physical realm and also the spiritual realm. And these are monitoring spirits, guys. These are monitoring spirits that are trying to see what your next steps are so that they can sabotage it, so that they can... They can um, keep it from happening and God has been warning you he stated that some of you he has warned already and I am here today just to let you know that God is about to have judgment on the wicked but he's asking you to pray we can't just sit back and do nothing you have to fight in the spirit everything is spiritual you have to fight in prayer you have to fight. You have to fast. You have to come against the enemy. He don't play fair. <laughs> he do not play fair. He don't like us in any faith, you know, in any uh, form. He do not like us. So we have to be a step ahead of the enemy. The God tells uh, God tells us in First uh, Peter five eight. It says, "Be alert and sober minded." Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that that family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. So we have to be 
very vigilant, very vigilant and alert to what the enemy is doing. He's always plotting. He's always planning. He's always doing, you know, causing some type of attack or planning some type of attack. But God is saying, these people are watching you. They want to know what's your next plan. They want to know what you're doing. And some of them are going through the lens uh, to even go on the outside to these different witches and, and warlocks to find out what you're doing. So be careful. It's not for you to fear. God did not give us the spirit of fear. And God is on our side. He's our shield. He's our armor. So we don't have to worry about that. We don't have to fear it. But we cannot sit back and don't do anything. We have to fight in the spirit. We have to pray. You know, pray against those monitoring spirits also fast fast uh as well but you have to know that there are people that are watching you that are praying for your downfall that are trying to do the different spells and witchcraft and black magic to keep you from receiving the next thing the next blessing the next level and right now you know a lot of people are going to their next level next level new devils you know, so you have to be vigilant. You have to be sober mind minded and alert at all times because the enemy is not going to stop. We fight this battle every day. You and I, we fight it every day. But we, you know, we always have God on our side. So we don't fear it. But we do have to fight. We do have to pray. We do have to come against and rebuke and renounce some things, you know. We can't let the enemy have, you know, just have a way with us and be, uh, you know, naive to the devices of the enemy. But God is saying, watch out. These people are curious what's your next move. They want to know they're watching you, whether that's through social media, whether that's through, you know, through someone else, whatever that may be, God is saying to watch out. He's going to deal with these people. But in the meantime, you have to pray. You have to fast. And you have to, you know, um, God was also stating, and I don't want to leave that out, we have to remember when we are set apart as well, we can't be with everybody. We can't go every every place. We have to be mindful who we attach ourselves to. We also have to be mindful in the environments that we go in as well. Um, being set apart, you know, a lot of times come with isolation because you know, yes, we have community. Yes, God is about community, but we know that most of the time we're walking alone. It is a lonely, a lonely walk, but God is stating, you know, make sure you're paying attention. You just can't go everywhere. You know, pray about it. If you have different, I've said it before in other videos because of my experience. If you're having different services, um, salons, uh, barbershops, massage, whatever that may be. Make sure you're praying before you're going to get these services because we cannot be, you and I cannot be in every environment as well. If it doesn't feel right or if God gives you a warning in your spirit, you know, listen to it. Listen to it and don't go because we cannot, uh, you can, we can't trust everybody. I mean, you don't want to be paranoid and God is not asking us to walk and be paranoid, but you have to watch your surroundings. You have to watch who you allow around you, who you allow in your home, uh, you know, who you're around on your job. You have to watch the different places that you go. So God was speaking about, uh, God was speaking about that as well. It's just about being vigilant, you know, being vigilant in where you're going, uh, just to pray about those things. But his judgment is coming. He was speaking a lot about witchcraft and about people really, uh, trying to tap in to find out what you're doing so make sure that you continue to move in silence make sure you continue to keep the promises that god has given you to yourself uh, make sure you're keeping your plans to yourself whenever those blessings and those things unfold in your life you know they will see it they will see it after the fact but do not 
um, announce it or if you can't trust the person or if you're unsure about a person, just keep it to yourself. It's best to keep it to yourself and it, you know, they'll see it later. Okay. So God was speaking a lot about that guys. So just be mindful, um, be mindful of, of what you, you know, of who you're around, um, and where you go and also uh he was speaking about what you're listening to and what you're watching so make sure that you're very vigilant you know you don't open any doors as well for witchcraft don't open any doors by your ear gates or your eye gates make sure that you you know you you stay on the up and up you know stay on the up and up when it comes to that and because that is a way um, that you're opening doors and you're opening portals for witchcraft as witchcraft as well. Okay, so make sure that you are staying very very vigilant and just be aware of what you're watching and what you're listening to. Because sometimes demonic things are through the music, through the television. So just be mindful of those things as well. God was speaking about you know about that as well so guys just know that god is going to vindicate you and he is going to deal um uh, with your enemies whoever is doing these whoever is watching you but make sure that you're praying praying against these monitoring spirits you have to fight you have to fight in prayer you have to fight in in worship and praise you have to fight by fasting okay uh, but I just wanted to come today and give this word a warning to you guys. And that is the word. Make sure you take this word again back to God in prayer. Sit with him. Uh, talk with him about it. If this is something that he has warned you about, take it seriously. If this message is for you, take it seriously. And just go back to God in prayer in regards to it. But make sure that you are praying as well, all right? Rebuking and renouncing things, all right? And canceling everything and every plan and assignment of the enemy over your life and over your destiny always, okay? So guys, that is the word today. Keep shining. Keep being the light that you are because you are absolutely the light. Keep loving, being kind and compassionate towards one another, okay? Don't conform to this world or the agendas of it. You don't allow them to divide us, but let's continue to walk in unity, all right? We're being divided by everything, but let's not allow them to cause division. Let's continue to walk in unity and love and compassion for one another always all right so guys know that god loves you unconditionally i love you and until next time god willing i will see you guys then all right and i'll talk to you later bye bye